All right, I suppose I ought to get some of this on video. Uh, we got this 288. Turns out it's not a 288. It's a 181 with 288 top cover filter, the jazz. <clears throat> the cylinder is 52 millimeter bore. It's got a fin broken on it. Uh, other than that, internally, it looks immaculate. It's a thin ring. But we, anyway, so I was like, well, I'll just take it off, put it, clean it up a little bit, ditch the base gasket and run it. Then I remembered I had this crunchy old carcass on the shelf that was locked up and I thought it was seized. And, well, it is seized, but it's not scored. So here we go. We bonused out again. Uh, I don't know how stuff gets like this. I mean, it is like walked up tight that's the only bearing that moves crank is absolutely stuck I'm guessing it just sat outside and got full of water judging from things because the inside of the cylinder is pretty dang clean it came off tough you can see there's oh, let's see if we can get to focus here there you go you can see there's rust is what was making it stick but it, there's no scoring whatsoever the cylinder is spotless so we got a 288 cylinder we can throw on this thing probably gonna have to uh i don't know if i trust that piston i think it would actually clean up i might just get a new ring for it and rehab that pistons so they're a match and set and go from there there is a very very slight amount can barely feel there. I'm guessing from carbon. Judging from the exhaust port. But anywho. Might just clean this up and run it the way it is for now while we gather parts, but we'll be throwing that top end on it. Make it a true 288. Okay, I guess. So we got the 288 and 181 cylinders uh respectfully on the left and right here. So I understand when they say these 181s have a nice tight combustion chamber. And guys make pretty hot saws out of them. I know what they're talking about now. That's the 288 combustion chamber. And here's the 181. Hopefully that'll focus in for you. It's kind of hard to tell with the carbon the way it is and stuff, but it is, I mean, it is a tiny, tiny combustion chamber here. Let's see if I can get this for you, but, uh, I mean, the squish band comes all the way out, clear over into here. That's it right there. That's all there is for the combustion chamber. So I can see how guys would make these into real strong runners. That's for dang sure. Not that the 288 isn't, but I mean, the, it's night and day difference the size of the combustion chambers. So anyways, just thought I'd hit on that for future. So I, anyways, I don't know. I'll have to read up, but I may not be going to this 288 sonar. I may just stick with this 181 and uh, let it go. I know it's two millimeter smaller but I don't know I'll have to do my research but I bet this would make for a real strong runner so for now we're just going to put it back on top of here with no base gasket we're going to open up the muffler and we're just going to leave it and run it have some fun with it enjoy it for what it is and sometime not too far off in the future we'll pull it back down and we'll either port this one put it back on there or we'll port this one so so I find Find out which is the general consensus is the better build. So, anywho, I just wanted to hit on that because I thought it was pretty interesting.